Well, welcome back everyone. Got a nice, uh, nice little uh, project here. Um, just simply how to make a dust separator on your shop vac using mostly salvaged uh, items and things sourced on the internet for, uh, for very little or no money. Now um, it's going to be a bit more of a show and tell rather than the follow on the build but I'm going to show you what I found, um, the problems I had, the things I learned along the way so hopefully when you build yours you won't have the headaches that I did. So uh, let me get it out and I'll uh, show you what I did. Well this is the basic setup. Um, essentially I've got my shop vac um, and then the hose running off to the, very, the power tool that whichever is being used and it goes through this drum here. The only thing I've made is from this point here with this hose, obviously I didn't make the hose, um, into the, the drum and then back out and essentially disconnecting this from the, the hose pipe. I've used the, the original fitting, just taken that off the, the original hose and with a Jubilee clip wrapped it around this, um, this drum and then it feeds into the the separator and then back out to the, the hose. So if I take that off we can discount that. I did have to buy the, um, the fitting to go around this, um, this plastic pipe um, and I did actually have some of this pipe lying around but all it is is it's down, drain pipe, down pipe, um, small line things for, for garden sheds and stuff like that. Um, now the first thing I would suggest to anyone who's planning on this is think ahead and plan because um, I went into it as a it was basically a drum with a few bits of drain pipe and some hose so I'll go and get some drain pipe I'll go and get some hose and then the problem started when I was trying to connect things to various items and that's what you really need to think about it's not complicated you just need to plan ahead um, because there's so many different sizes of down pipe there's so many different sizes of um, fittings both on the hose pipes and on the drain pipes and it can be a bit of a headache but as long as you get those fittings planned out so you know what size of pipe you're going to fit and that was for me dictated by the size of fitting that comes with the, the hose which was again dictated by the size of the hose itself um, so if you've got a vacuum cleaner or a shock vac then the first thing to do is find out what fittings you can get that will fit on your size hose and it's really easy to find out. Essentially, all you do is unclip the, the fixture off the end, and inside here, attached to the hose, will be this piece. And then you unscrew that from the um, from here, and then you can measure the diameter. Remember, though, this is a reverse thread, so you tighten it clockwise to undo it counterclockwise or anti-clockwise to, um, to, to tighten it up. Um, you can be twisting and turning and all you end up doing is turning this. So that's, um, that was probably the first problem I had. And once I've worked out what fittings I could get, I could then move on to find a piece of um, downpipe. Now it doesn't have to be exact, the tighter it is obviously the, um, the, the better the, the apparatus works. But little, little inconsistencies and bits of plate can be sorted out with um, a bit of silicon bathroom sealant. Um, or sealing adhesive, which is even better because it, um, it sets up nice and strong. So then we've got to work out how does this go into the drum. Now what I've done is with my, my plunger router and a circle cutting jig, I worked out the size of the hole I needed to be a really nice tight fit around this pipe in a piece of ply and just routed out a, um, a hole. I went for the router option rather than the drill bit because I could get it exact and tight and a really, really nice tight interference fit. So what I've done is I've reinforced the, uh, the top of this drum lid with a piece of ply on, on either side. So inside here I've got my two pieces of ply which reinforce the lid, which is only thin aluminium, and then I've drilled through the top line the holes up, the pipe goes all the way through and into this drain pipe. This is what I was talking about for having a nightmare with fittings because this white fitting isn't the same size as this black fitting because the place where I originally got this from has changed their, their stock run. So you get them at the same time and make, make sure they fit. If you're using a, a down pipe then you'll be able to get these, um, these 90 degree elbows um, just fine. So um, and then it's just a piece of silicon around the, the end and, and plonk it on. The same with the, the outgoing. Just make sure that they're in opposing directions or opposite as best you can. 
um, is what the what effect you have is as the um, as the vac is sucking through here, the air is being pulled into there and up. So when it's in the drum, it's got to come in from somewhere. So the air comes in from here, and the only place it can go out is round. So the air travels around. You get that cyclone effect. Um, and then to separate the the waste in the bottom of the tin and the free flowing air and the, the very fine particles of dust, you've got this. Um, this piece of it is actually MDF. Again, with the circle router, just route it down a circle and then drill holes through and use some threaded rod to separate it. And it's actually quite tight on there. It's basically what's holding these, these on and stopping them from, from falling off. And, and that's basically how, how that works. Rests in the top there. Now this tin is a, a food safe container. Um, it, these are available on on the internet and they're great because they've got the equipment to snap lock this and they've actually got around here a rubber a rubber seal. So even with just the weight of this assembly on the top, there's enough to give it an airtight seal. Um, so it works it works pretty well. And what you find is if you're connecting it up to a planer or a joint out or something like that where you get some quite large chippings. All the large chippings will fill up in here rather than in the shot vac. Um, and that has the effect of this lasts longer because you haven't got big particles of debris, chips of wood, nails, brads, whatever you've got lying around the shop floor um, hitting into the, the filter. So um, it's literally then a case of getting a piece of hose, some Jubilee clips and connecting it up to the shop vac. I haven't even shortened this this hose. I could have used some of this hose, but I wanted to be able to keep it so I could just take it out and I've got the original assembly rather than having a shorter hose. Um, when I was researching this on, on the internet, people did say expect a reduction in, in suction by adding this. And yeah, I've had a small reduction, but when you see this filling up, yeah, you still get dust in the shop, but the amount of dust that this is filling up with and the ease at which I can empty this compared to having to take this all apart far outweighs any any slight reduction and it really is only a slight reduction in um, in suction and I've got a 5 meter hose on this as well so it's a fairly fairly long system but uh, that's all it is it's really that simple it's just a case of cutting some circles um, in the top of the um, lid you can get these on um, on eBay um, they're usually blue plastic ones but plastic or, or metal it doesn't matter I just have them happen to have a metal one. But it's a really simple system, basically cutting holes, using a bit of downpipe, some elbows, some hose pipe, a bit of silicon sealer and some nuts and bolts, and and you're laughing. It um, saves some cleanup time and it means you're more likely to um, empty it out even when it's getting a, a bit full. Because we're all guilty of that. So uh, I say I wasn't gonna build another one because I've already got one, but um, if you look on on the internet, the videos that are out there of how to build them, and hopefully couple it with this, the things to bear in mind that some of the videos or a lot of videos don't tell you, um, you, should be you should be laughing when it comes to uh, making your shop back. So uh, I wish you all the best of luck, and uh, please do subscribe if you like this video, and check out the other ones as well. Speak to you later.